It's here. It's an exciting day after uh, quite some time of being sold out. Uh, I've finally gotten my hands on the Fractal Design Define R6, which is the, uh, the case that my main PC is going to be going into. Now I'm not going to do a whole lot in terms of an actual review on the case, uh, because I'm rather late to the party, it's been about, uh, it's been probably about six months or so that, uh, since the case launched, so I'm not going to worry too much about going in depth in terms of a review, but I'm going to be looking at the uh, case and specifically how it applies to uh, my system and uh, what I particularly like about it and if there's any drawbacks that I find, though it has had uh, rave reviews from all other sources. Um, I'll certainly mention those um, as it sits right now though let's uh, let's get this uh, puppy unboxed and uh, take a look at it Beautiful. Alright, so there's going to be a weird awkward cut in my video. I don't know exactly what happened because I can't see what's on my phone screen as I'm recording with the back camera. Uh, but something happened and made my video stop recording. Um, I seem to have had enough storage space, but I don't know what exactly happened. But basically right after I unboxed the case, uh, I lost everything that uh, everything that I was talking about. So I'm going to summarize it very quickly. I'm not doing too much of a case uh, review right now because I'm a little late to the party. It's been maybe six or so months since the uh, case actually launched. But basically I'm just going to be going over why it benefits my personal system, what I like about it, and if there are any gripes that I have about it, despite the glowing reviews from every other source, um, I'll be certain to point those out, but I'm not sure if there are going to be any or what they will be uh, so far. Anyway, so there's two main reasons that I picked the case for my system, and which are probably all the same reasons that uh, you will too if you uh, are going to buy the case, or if you're looking to buy the case, um, or if you have already, probably the reason that you did. Uh, number one is its uh, versatility and function. It supports whatever your goal is, whether it's to liquid cool, to have a ton of storage, or just to have uh, space and airflow in your system. It's there for you. The second reason is it really hits all of the 2016-2017 trends. It's got a shroud for the power supply. Um, which eliminates a lot of the cable mess if you don't have a fully modular power supply, which right now I don't. Um, so it'll be kind of a prime example of that. It's got a ton of airflow with dust covers. Um, and you may not be able to see it too well just yet, but I'll uh, go into a little bit of uh, depth later on. But behind this, this wall right here, uh, it has a ton, I didn't count exactly, uh, but a ton of storage drive bays. Um, but you can actually pull them all out and pull that wall out uh, which I will probably be doing because I don't have that much storage um, to make space for uh, liquid cooling gear, reservoirs, radiators, things like that, or generally just to give yourself unhindered airflow throughout the system. Uh, so on the topic of liquid cooling again, uh, it has plenty of space for radiators uh, if, that's your, if that's your thing. But I didn't memorize any of these numbers, so don't quote me on it. If there's any mistakes I make, I'll correct it. Uh, in this area somewhere. Um, the top, I believe you can fit up to a 480 millimeter radiator. The front, I believe 360. The bottom, I think 240 or 280, depending on the length of your power supply in the first place. Other than the liquid cooling and the storage and the power supply shroud, it also has a tempered glass side panel and uh, brackets to vertically mount your graphics card without any modification necessary. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, main system into this case and I'll come back to uh, go over a few thoughts I have.
I guess the issue with my phone is continuing. Uh, so in terms of recording, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as I can for you. Uh, otherwise, my phone's going to stop recording, I guess. So I've got my system switched over and I have a few particular points about the case that I want to, uh, uh, that I want to specifically mention because they're fantastic. Um, number one, of course, is that these side panels are, com are toolless which means that they don't require uh, thumb screws or any sort of screws or anything like that. Uh, they do come with thumb screws uh, for transport and they have the option to use them, but it's not required. You can literally just pull the side panels off. Otherwise, on top of that, there's plenty of room for cable management. Uh, one of the issues that I've had with a lot of cases that I've built in is not having enough room uh, for the CPU power cable. Uh, of course, I have a semi-modular power supply, so I don't have the option to get a longer one uh, without using an extender. I can use an extender, I don't have an extender. And also I plan to, to use a fully modular power supply with custom cables at some point in the future anyway. So extenders really aren't anything I'm gonna worry about right now. But uh, on top of having plenty of room, I'm not sure if, if the case is shorter than some or what, the, what it is, um, but it's, I'm sure it's partially due to the open back on power supply shroud. I'm not sure if that's standard uh, because I haven't had a case before with the power supply shroud on it, but I'm really happy with it. Uh, it is completely open in the back, so the cables can go out whichever way uh, you'd like in terms of routing and go directly to their destinations, which uh, saves a lot of hassle as opposed to if it was uh, fully closed off on the back as well and had holes or what have you. It might not be as good. So. Definitely something I loved about uh, building with this case is that I had room for all my cables uh, without any bunching, without any overlap. Everything was easy. It's the shortest time I've spent a uh, cable managing uh, system ever. Other than that, of course, I did uh, mount the radiator from the Celsius S24 uh, liquid cooler, which is also from Dracula Design. Uh, on the in the front of the case, I do intend, to, because I have so much space there, really, I do intend also to put some uh, extra fans on the back. I don't have any right now. Uh, the back of the radiator to do a push-pull uh, sort of configuration. On the note of radiators, if I was, uh, which I will in the future, but if I was presently using a custom liquid cooling uh, loop or solution, uh, I would especially be thrilled because I currently have three fans in the top of the system right now. Uh, if I was using a radiator there, the mounts are actually offset away from the motherboard to give you a little bit of extra clearance if you have high profile uh, RAM heat sinks and so forth. Connected to it, literally, is uh, the storage wall, I'll call it. I'm not sure if they have a particular name for it, but the storage wall uh, essentially is the wall that uh, typically comes uh, in the front of the, uh, the front half of the case. It kind of blocks off this area with a lot of uh, mounts for drive bays and so forth in the back. Initially, I made a mistake with the, uh, with the wall and uh, what I did was I pulled it out completely because I didn't want to have it there. I wanted the extra room so I could mount the radiator in the front and things like that. But I didn't know what I was going to do with my with my storage hard drive. I have a 120 gigabyte uh, Samsung 860 Evo um, solid state drive as my boot drive, and I have a two terabyte uh, full size hard drive as my storage drive. Uh, I didn't want to use that the wall because it's a lot of space for just one drive. Uh, but when I pulled it out, there was no place to put that. Uh, that hard drive. Now, I didn't read the manual. If I had, or if I had noticed it in any other videos about the case or anything like that, reviews, etc., uh, the panel itself moves from the front to the back, uh, and on it has a spot to uh, hang, essentially, uh, one or two full-size storage drives on the back of the wall. I didn't realize that, so I pulled it out entirely, and then what I initially did was I uh, put it in one of the one of the storage brackets and screwed it uh, through the bottom panel of the case uh, through the ventilation holes, which had it secure and had it working, but you could see the drive through the open part of the shroud at the front, um, which is open, of course, because of the wall and to make room for radiators and such. Uh, so it wasn't a good, it worked fine, but it wasn't a beautiful solution. Then I decided that, hmm, Maybe I'll read the uh, manual to see if there's an option for that because they can't just uh, just leave people with one storage drive in a lurch. That seemed weird to me, and I was right. They do have that solution. Another thing I'd really like to point out that I loved about the case, 
was that the front door of the case, which provides access to the five and a quarter inch uh, drive bay, um, if you use that, I don't anymore, some people do. As well as the ventilation for the front fans and the front fans themselves. Uh, the door itself uh, is in my list of really impressive things because they didn't have to, but they did make the door reversible. By default, the hinges are on this side and the door opens this way. But since it's reversible, I and probably many other people who are using this case uh, can open it like this, uh, which is just much more handy, especially since we have the open side panel so we can see uh, our beautiful hardware. Other than that, the module vent at the top is good. Uh, it was It is a little bit tough to get the, the plastic grate off of the metal piece um, if you want to have it open up for airflow, which I'm assuming most people will. Whether you're using radiators on the top or fans like myself, uh, you want that ventilation usually. I'm assuming most people will, uh, but module vent gives you that option, which is fantastic. Overall, I have to give the case, honestly, a 10 out of 10. My only possible uh, one note with it, I won't even call it a gripe because it's really not that much of an issue. Uh, but if you're mounting the graphics card vertically, which you'll see I didn't do here yet uh, for this exact reason, it is uh, it is a bit of a tight squeeze. So where they where they place the, uh, the vertical slots, uh, they leave room to still give you access to the very top PCI Express slot, uh, which is good, uh, but it makes a bit of a tight squeeze at the bottom and you can't use just any uh, riser cable. When I mounted my graphics card vertically previously, I did buy really the first uh, riser card, or riser cable I should say, that I could find, and it works great, except in this case there's a too little room. You will want a, a lower profile, uh, probably L-shaped uh, connector end on it, uh, which Fractal Design does sell themselves separately uh, in a kit I believe that is $40 US, which isn't too bad, uh, so I will be picking that up in the future, um, but that's really the only note. Again, overall the case I give a 10 out of 10, it's the most impressive case honestly that I've seen in the mid-tower form factor probably in five years. Hats off to Fractal Design uh, between the Celsius coolers and all the cases that they've released, 2017 has been a great year for them. Uh, and they're probably one of the um, they're probably one of the most impressive uh, companies in the PC building space uh, of the entire year, in my opinion. If you guys have also had a, a case that has given you a perfect build, leave a comment below. Let me know which one it is, what you like about it. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It would help a lot. I have to thank everyone as well for the support. I've uh, gained 23 subscribers in the last 28 days, and I'm uh, really thankful for that. Uh, I'm on my way to 100, so I'm really hopeful that I can reach that soon. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.